Hi guys, this is a little uh, TI-84 plus tutorial on how to graph a stat plot and how to find the linear, the quadratic reg regression uh, from the um, stat plot you give into the calculator. So as always, we start with turning it on and just to input your information, we're going to go to stat. And then we're going to go to edit. And then here you can input your information. Now we're going to look at this question, question number one right here on the left hand side. And here we have, um, so I'll read it out to you. The table shows a path of a ball where x is the horizontal distance in meters and h is the height in meters above the ground. So here you see that there is a, um, a uh, xy uh, table with a value so we're going to input that those values in so we're going to treat L1 with our X values and L2 as our as our um, H values or Y values if you will so let's input it so we got 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 and then we're going to go over and then we're going to input 1, enter, 8, 13, 16, 17, 16, 13, 8, and 1. So right now we've inputted all our information that we have from, the qu from question number 1. So first of all to turn our graph on because as you can see here we can see nothing right so let's go on to second y equals so you will um, initiate the stat plot menu and what you do is when you turn on the stat plot on so we're going to click enter for this number one and we're going to turn it on and as you can see here it's already automatically chosen as you highlighted that um, we want a scatter plot graph not a line graph a bar graph or whatever these graphs are and we're going to tell the calculator where our x values are uh, list as you remember here our x values are in l1 and our y values are in l2 now if we go back we already can see that are we the calculator already automatically knows that the X list is in L1 and the Y list is in L2 now you gotta be be careful here is that here you gotta be careful of these numbers up on top so L1 and L2 because sometimes they can change so if you do need to change them you go you go here and click second and whatever it is so line 1 2 3 4 5 or 6 so that's you got to be very careful about. Okay, so let's move on. And as you can see, we've turned it on. And we can see it like that, but we don't want it like that. We want to see it like as a nice, like, um, nice graph, scatter plot graph. So first of all, we're going to go to zoom. And we're going to go all the way down to stat, because we want a stat plot, because we've put in statistics, and we want them to show them in the best way that they can. So we can click enter here, and you can see we have our scattered plot. Now, as you can see in the question, it says sketch a graph of the quadratic relation. So we finish part A. Now, if we do part B, describe the flight path of the ball. Identify the axis of symmetry and the vertex. Okay. First of all, we need to get a line, because if not, we can't have the axis of symmetry or the vertex. So what we're going to do is we're going to find a quadratic reg regression or a parabola. So you're going to go into stat, calculate, and you'll go all the way down to number 5, quadratic regression. Click enter. And for my uh, TI-83 uh, friends, here's a bit where it goes different, okay? Um, Normally, you have to click calculate, and then you, you have to um, enter, like, L1, comma, L2, comma, and then you're going to click 
vars y vars but it's okay i'll walk you through that when i get the uh, ti-83 plus um emulator um so we don't want to input whatever number they give us into the y equals because it's a big hassle like it might be decimals or really weird stuff so we're going to go back to stack calculate and we're going to tell them okay we store this linear regression in uh y1 right here so you go to back to back to where we were i'm just going to show you that so th you want to store it in y1 so to get there you're going to click vars y vars and that is a function so you click enter or one and then you click y1 because you want to put it in the y1 feature enter so now it's the, you tell them okay i want it stored in y1 so i don't have to click numbers so you go down and you just want to calculate so if you guys caught that earlier that like flash that's what the ti-83 you have to do but here for ti-84 plus it automatically does it for you so if we go to y equals we actually have the equation there already they already put it there for us so it didn't have to take us so long so let's look at the graph the line that they draw through the points this is a curve of best fit okay now we can begin looking for the um, axis of symmetry and the vertex basically the axis of symmetry is the x value of the vertex so let's find our vertex first we're going to go second calculate we're going to find the maximum. We're going to go a little bit before it. So maybe like here. And a little bit after it. Like here. And we don't want to guess because we want the answer. So we know that the maximum is 4 and 17. Which is right there. That's the vertex. So we, can, we now know that the vertex, the axis of symmetry value is 4. It's x equals 4. And that the vertex of this curve is 4, 17. So essentially we finish the question. And then that part D is not really important actually. And if you have any questions on this, uh, comment below or message me on Facebook or just rewatch this video and I'm sure you guys will get it um, sooner or later. Um, walking back, walking through this video, I, I'm sure that you'll uh, do very well on your uh, calculator test or whatever test that comes up. Okay, have fun guys. Good night.